That was a cool discovery for sure. Split my hand open on well, my finger, pinky. Dust. I'm Alex. I'm the one you uh, we talked on next door. I think you emailed me. Oh yeah. Say what? My daughter there. Oh, okay. Is it okay if I go ahead and take care of the lawn for you? How much? Free. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I rang the ring doorbell. As you as you probably saw, she wasn't home, but uh, she was at work. She's gonna be home at like two thirty. Just talked to her for a few minutes. She, you know, she's. Uh, I think she's got two or three kids. You know single parent so we're definitely going to clean up the yard for us. This is going to be a fun one. I love helping people out so I feel real good about this one. So stay tuned. This is going to be a great video guys.
All right, so this is like a little drainage trench thing that comes down and the water runs down through here. I just pulled that big piece of grass off and realized that is not the end of it. So we're about to see how far out this thing goes. Whew, it's hot. All right, that's the end of it right there. So what I'm gonna do is grab the edger and put a nice edge in right there. That way the grass doesn't grow back over. I bet when it rains, it just pulls up right there. So that should definitely help a little bit. And All right, just got it all cleaned out. There's a lot of dirt right here. It's too much to like mulch up with the mower. So I'm about to get the trash can, fill the trash can up and then haul this dirt off with me later. But that edge turned out really nice. That was a cool discovery for sure. I mean, that grass was probably growing over four feet of that little trench ditch thing. So definitely is gonna help where the spigot comes down right here. Ooh, that way, right here, comes down to here. So that water now has kind of somewhere to go rather than just pull up right there, so. Hopefully it helps. Could have just saved her a lot of foundation water damage, so who knows? But I'm glad I was here to do it. And I'm glad you guys are here with me. Thank you. Dust. All right, let's get to garbage can. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> That's the best I can really do without possibly damaging the car, so it'll just have to be fine. Sorry, guys. That's all we, that's all so we.
just finished the front. Now we're gonna head down the side right here. String trim it. String trim the back. Clean up the brush growing around the fence line. Pick up any sticks and debris that the mower might that might damage the mower. And blow everything off. And then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for the mow it well sauce. I've got a I've got a pretty decent idea. I'm not hundred percent sure if I'm gonna do it, but we'll just have to wait and see.
Man, it's hot. All right, so just finished up cleaning the fence line. The uh, trimmers I was just using went and cut through this, so I'm gonna grab my chainsaw, finish this up. There's a couple more branches I missed, and then we'll be time to mow. Couldn't get the cap off the chainsaw to uh, put gas in it. And I split my hand open on my finger, pinky on this finger. So I'm giving up on trying to get that gas cap off. It is like just super tight on there and it's like a really tight, small area to try to twist it. So that didn't feel too good, but I got some loppers. So I'm about to go grab them and then we'll clean the rest of this up. So I'll be right back. Got it started after my finger started bleeding. Got it though. I'm just going to stack all this bamboo up against the back of this fence. It looks like what they've been doing anyway. Looks like they've been using it to kind of keep this fence from completely falling over or uh, letting like their dog get out. So I'm going to stack it up over here. I just realized something. That gate looks pretty small. We finish mowing this little piece and we'll see if the mower can make it in. I hope so. My face says it all. The mower's too big. New game plan. The mower is too big to fit the gate. The mower's about a 50 inch deck. So that means we need a smaller mower. That gate is probably 36 inches. I think a push mower will fit. But I don't have a push mower. Not with me. Or at the shop. You think of what I'm thinking? Let's go buy a push mode. Just pulled up to the trusty Ace Hardware. About to go in here, grab a mower real quick. Grab some water because, per usual, I didn't bring any. So I'm gonna get a Powerade water, something like that. Head back over there and push mow that backyard, so. There's the mower.
All right, push mower starting to putter. It's already low on gas, but also I think because the grass is so thick that it's uh, having trouble going through it. So what I'm gonna do is grab the string trimmer. I'm gonna trim some of this tall stuff, and then hopefully we have enough gas in there to finish it. If not, I'll just trim the rest of it. It's just a bad day for mower wells. I'm gonna try to run over this with that mower. Try to clean it up a bit, but I don't think it's gonna go far. Completely out of gas. Hey. hey, how are you? I'm cool. Okay. How's everything look? Oh, yeah. I pulled up. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I trimmed that bush on the back right side, and then I trimmed your whole fence line as well to get it all cleaned up. So it should last a while. It looks a lot better. I just want to nice and show you and tell you thank you. No, thank you. I got all the way back there, and I was like, my mower's not going to fit back behind this gate. So then I went and bought one, got back there, forgot to stop and get gas for it. But they had put a little gas in it, so I mowed like half of it and then ran out of gas. So then I had to weed eat the rest of it. I was like, I should have weed eat the thing in the first place. But anyway, I just want to tell you thank you. Um, hope it looks good. All right, well, have a good rest of your day. You too, thank you. Thank you. And we're out.